don't know how much of this audio is usable. Hello, welcome to TGS. <laughs> Morning, and welcome to Devon. It's nice to have a little gap early. I like to gap when I wake up early before I shoot day regardless, because it's as good as Christmas. Just to get stuff ready, work out slowly. This is my first ever day of shooting steel shot in any sort of serious regard. I've got Game Boy Silver Steels, I've got some Elite VIPs. And just in case we go on some of the higher drives, I've got a couple of big ones as well, um, with lead in. So, it's going to be interesting for me. Ego, I haven't got my gun, but we'll have a little look at that later. For now, let's have a cup of tea, guys. I remember my grandfather saying, Welcome to Devon, where it rains six days or seven. Guess what, 100% forecast of rain all day. It's Rugby World Cup final day. We're gonna be shooting through with complete radio silence so they can watch the game, record it afterwards. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be windy, gusts of 75 miles an hour, rainy, overcast, perfect pheasant shooting weather. First day out, let's give it a go. So it stopped raining, surprisingly, but there was so much water on the road just to give an indication of how much rain there was last night. And hopefully, it rained the majority of it out, so it's not going to be too bad, because this is the perfect shooting weather now. Um, some of the more sporty cars in the group are struggling with some of the water. Brings me joy, but I have a truck. <laughs> Try to catch me howling at the moon. Got some amazing curiosities here actually in the shoot room. Look at that, Boss and Co matches. Uh, white gold of every era. Doing how geeky you are about any of this stuff, that cartridge box in itself is lovely. Opportunity to just geek out and enjoy. Look at that. Some cool gun stuff. Gamekeeper feeds cartridges. Game Boy Super Trench, 32 grams, seven and a half, say. So. Very nice. And there you go. They've even got one for you, Sash. I feel like my ears being violated every time I fill them with these, but once they're in, they're pucker. Right. That's entirely up to you to make the rule, alright? That's fine, I'm happy with that. That's not a problem, alright? Can do, but one will be ready to call later. You just want to say. First drive out, new season, new cartridges. Let's see if saving the planet is viable. Let's start with a couple of Elys. Pulled Pokemon to start, apparently some pheasants and partridges in there. I'm guessing that, if anything, we might be lucky the wind is ploughing this way. And it really has picked up, it was lovely and dry to start with. Now the rain's just coming in again. We might get some shooting. If the birds hit this wind, they're gonna be fast. Real fast. Get a bird down, tensions should then drop. I can relax a little bit. Um, whew, what's up? Feeling optimistic? Yeah, I think I'm feeling optimistic, Sash. We'll find out. These new combinations don't always go to plan. And we'll act accordingly, right? I brought some of my old favourites in the car just in case this do not work out, right? So, we'll be all right. Oh, 
I might just stretch over there, to be honest, mate. Oh, there. Right over where I was. <laughs> Got a bit out of it so far. Um, we've been pulled back a bit. Um, no, I had a couple of shots, which is nice. Brought one down. Nice bird as well. All in all, happy. Not a lot of conclusions I could draw so far on the whole steel thing. You know, I shot at one, two birds with steel. One was a bit optimistic, I think, at the best of times. Nothing. One shot with lead. And we were good to go. But we're not going to take anything from that. It's going to be a long day of learning. My baby, my baby, just three weeks to go. The rain is falling wildly, but the moon is still aglow. In tomorrow, there'll be sunshine, and the garden will be green. We'll lay a bed of lilies for you to dream. My baby, my baby, just three weeks to go. Your mother singing softly to the music. Some power of water there, are you? If I shout really loud, I can probably say that my life is ruined and the next shoot is not going to be fun. The camera's wet, I'm wet. I'm not going to go for a swim. Alright, so we'll be told, park ourselves up. You've got a good view in front of you for some of the higher ones that might be sailing over. We might have some quick action skipping over this tree to our left. And right, I feel like I'm a bit weighed down by this jacket though. I might have to take it off to make myself more nimble. What do we think? Wet or happy? It's all about fine balance, isn't it? There's some high birds out to our left. Pay some attention, really. Nice pair. Oh. See? Skin's waterproof. Steel's fine. I ever seen all of my winging on the last drive. Why don't you duck back behind the tree, mate? Because you got waterproof. Uh, I think there's going to be half a gallon of oil pot on it tonight to keep it in the zone. I'm obviously half worried that my Ely wads might leak and end up blowing my head off. Ha 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 ha. I didn't have time to put Vaseline over the end of every single one. Oh, I got me nearing the end of the drive now and it's, oh, it's wet. Quite happy with how I've shot. All in all, you know, I've broken the cardinal rule and I'm using mixed cartridges. Always been a one cartridge, one gun kind of man, so this is a bit of an experience for me. I'm going to have to make the change at some point. Better be ahead of the game, I guess. And I have shot some nice birds. I've missed a lot of nice birds too. <laughs> what an absolutely amazing drive that was. You know, I can't see my gun to my left, I can't see my gun to my right. I'm just in like a beautiful little pocket with birds everywhere. I had to pick your birds a bit. And not because they were low, just because there were so many. Um, there were some absolute stunners come off the top of there. And I'll tell you what, we're putting a variety of cartridges in the gun. And if we like, it could be classed as a bit of a blind test. Those steels performed actually really surprisingly. Really surprisingly. Anything I can say, you definitely can tell the game ball, not because of any extra recoil or anything like that, They're the real recoil versus some of these lead cartridges I've got in the pocket as well, it is, is nothing, really. Um, it's the fact you see the big cardboard fly out and whiz off into the distance, um, sometimes. Come here, Sash. It's your medicine time. Good dog, go away. 
Come pick it. Don't pick it. Hold on. Anna. Oh, my phone's in the car. I can't film you crossing the river. The others were coming round and left behind me. It was no joke wet at this point. The camera was taking water quicker than the Titanic, and so we decided to use an iPhone and the aim cam glasses for the rest of the day. Really, we didn't have a choice. The camera, all you could see was water and a mist. Moving over to the phone for now. Camera's too wet. It is unrelenting. It's really hard not going and looking at the rugby results whilst also trying to set this on wide drive. <laughs> They're already steamed up on my face. You look like a bee. I look like a bee. They are quite intrusive when you shoot with them on or put them on mount gun. So just in case I can't shoot with them on, we're going to aim for it. Wow! This is why we're about to find out whether they're waterproof as well. So sorry, aim cam if they break. So we switched over to the phone, given that the uh, camera is suffering in the rain. We've Serious been debating suffering. this for a while because I've got the iPhone 11 and I've been very, very, very impressed with the results. So you can judge whether there's actually any quality difference with a search wasted thousands of pounds on a really nice camera. I admit it, technical incompetence run the day. I should have taken my phone out, but my hands were too wet to actually open it and see whether we were still rolling. So I wore those glasses for nearly the full drive that you were filming. And the bits we did film on camera, the audio was so inaudible, so terrible with the wind. You know, this rain was hurting face sort of wind and rain, but well, this is what we got. Wet and cold's hard enough, new gun, new shells. Even though I am, for this drive, it's a bit of an acid test using black gold black ground sixes to see if they, it's, to see if it's any different, whether I really understand. This is so much more fun. Yeah, it's about fun. <laughs> <laughs> near as down at perfect for me. Good birds, nice birds, right sort of height.
glasses. No, yeah, like I wasted a good 10 minutes with glasses on trying to shoot. That was a bit ambitious. Did I try? And that was the last drive. We'll look at reflections in a bit, but now it's time for your water rugby. Pretty much 99% of everyone already knows the score, but we're still quite excited about what's going on. I mean, nobody here knows. Radio silence all day. We're gonna have lunch and watch the game. And then we'll discuss after the game the conclusions from today. Really, they were never in this game. They didn't have any answer for the South Africans. So what did we learn from this experience? Well, I've got a couple of lessons that I learned, a couple of affirmations of knowledge I already had, and a couple of confessions to things that I need to be open and honest about because, well, I could not, but I want to be. So, lessons learned. At regular height birds, 40 yards, let's say, somewhere between 20 and 40 yards, a steel cartridge kills just as well as a lead cartridge of the same weight and makeup. I couldn't have discerned the difference in my ability between a steel shot and a lead shot because, in all honesty, I wasn't up to my the standards I would have been happy with, but first day out, right? Um, a different gun. The different gun. Let's cover this one. Well, I've shot my Maruku for six years now. Full and three quarter choked, two and three quarter inch chambered, 32 inch fixed choke gun. Beautiful, handles lovely, everything. Changing to a multi-choke, well, this is an affirmation because I already knew it's gonna be heavier in the barrel, so the swing and everything was very different. Secondly, half choke doesn't kill as well as full and three quarter choke. And I know that is kind of obvious, but this was kind of made up to me on the last drive and more even on that second drive that the guy behind me said to me, oh, you were, you were hitting a lot of them and they, they flew on and actually they were dying behind the trees behind you. And I didn't even notice I pricked any. I thought I was getting clean kills and not. But the back gun could see, so, you know, he has that ability, it's beautiful. And then on the last drive, my gun with the cartridges I would regularly use, and I know we've done how far can a shotgun kill game, so I'm about to out myself as a high bird lover, I can shoot and kill 65 yard pheasants. I wouldn't say with these, but if I connect, they're gonna die. I was connecting, and I actually wounded a couple of birds, and I feel really guilty about that. High bird shooting, you need the right gear to do. We all know that as well, but an affirmation nonetheless, and there you go. So, Ely versus the game ball on the steels. The Ely are a nicer cartridge to shoot. That's it. Uh, sorry guys at game ball, but your cartridge kicks a little bit more, and I honestly felt but at the slightly higher end of Steel's range, the Ely had the performance. Yeah, it's a three, the Game Ball's a four, so maybe that's the difference there. But I'm just outlaying my experiences, right? So that's that. So what can I actually conclude from this whole day, all in all? Firstly, 
But as much as I might say that high bird shooting is not something I'm in love with, actually, ego-wise, I'm gonna really struggle to let that go when steel comes in. Unless I can find a steel cartridge that performs that well, and they do. Those threes, the Ely threes, were knocking out high birds with absolutely zero reach, so I would, would not have an issue taking those on a higher bird. But getting a gun that can perform with them is the hard part. Currently, you've got Fabar and Longthorn, I think, are the only two companies that you can put steel through a full choke with, and I shall be going down the Fabar road and perhaps try a Longthorn if I can to see how they pattern and perform for shooting at higher birds. There's nothing worse than winging a bird. And the most of the reason I bought the gun, my Maruka, in the first place is that if you connect, it's dead. And that counts for a lot with me. Morally, I'm ready to move onto that steel thing. I don't think I'm ready to move over 100% quite yet. That's, that, that's, that's for definite. And thirdly, and lastly, I had a great day shooting. I just got a bit introspective at the end because it was such a, a test today, you know? New gun, new cartridges different place shooting in the rain new gear that went well didn't it um guys thank you very much for watching as always take care goodbye it's been brilliant and i'll see you next time